Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the informed search algorithm. In the previous video, I explained about the best first search, which is an example of the informed search algorithm. Next type of uh, informed search is the A star search algorithm. A star. A star search algorithm finds the shortest path through the search space using the heuristic function. So here, so far in the best first search, we are using just only the heuristic value. But here we are using two uh, values to finding of the uh, path okay to find the shortest path through the search space using the heuristic function it uses h of n that is a heuristic function and cost to reach the node and the cost that it has to reach that node means here we need to consider the cost of that value all, uh, path also not only the heuristic function not only the heuristic value we need to find the cost of that also that is a g of n if you want to find the value f of n is equal to you need the cost for that particular path. So whatever the cost that is there that particular cost to reach that node. If you want to reach to this node the cost to this particular path is 2 plus 1. So that is a g of n. So a star algorithm uses the heuristic value and the cost to reach the node n from the start stage. So every time you have to take the path from start state. Okay, we have to take the path from start state to calculate the cost. Start stage that is a G of N. Okay, so this algorithm expands less. I'll explain this. This algorithm expands less search tree and provides the optimal results faster. So it is similar to the uniform cost search. Why I'm saying it is similar to the uniform cost search? Because in the uniform cost search, we are giving uh, values. Means we are giving the, uh, the cost of that path on the tree. So just like in uniform cost search, here also we are giving the values on the path. That is the cost, estimated cost for that path. Except that uses G of N and H of N instead of G of N. So there we are using only G of N. Where in the uniform cost search. In the uniform cost you are only just using the G of N. G of N means you have to calculate the uh, means uh, the cost of that particular node. That should be calculated from the start node. That you have done in the uniform cost search. But in this A star algorithm you need to calculate G of N plus H of N also. So that I will explain. Don't be confused. So A star uses a search heuristic as well as a cost to reach that node. So this is a search heuristic as well as the cost to reach that node. Hence we combine both cost as G of N plus H of N. G of N is a cost of that particular node from the start node. From the start node to the particular node that cost is G of N. And H of N you already know this is a heuristic value which they are already given for that particular node. So this complete function you call it as a fitness number. So f of n is the estimated cost of the cheapest solution. So this is the estimated cost of the cheapest solution which path is having the cheap uh, means less cost. g of n is the cost to reach node in n from start state and h of n is the cost to reach from node n to the goal node. So that is the heuristic value I already explained. It is the Cost to reach from node n, from whatever the node you are taking, from that node n to the goal node. Node n to goal node. So here this is, suppose this is, this is a goal node. Let's take. Okay. So here g of n is, suppose you are at this position, you are at this position. g of n is, G of n is a combination of this path and this path. 1 plus 2. That is a G of n. And H of n is the heuristic value is the cost that it reaches to the goal node. The cost that it reaches to the goal node they will be given. For each and every node the cost that it reaches to that goal node that is the H of n. Now let us see the algorithm for this A star search. Afterwards I will explain with an example. Okay. We will implement this algorithm on the example. Let's see the steps. Step 1. Place the starting node in the open list. Check if the open list is empty or not. If the list is empty, then return failure and stop. So just like this uh, best first search here also, you need to check the 
uh, list is empty or not if it is empty you just uh, return value otherwise select the node from the open list which has the smallest value of evaluation function g of h so here you need to calculate g of h in the best first search you are just taking the heuristic value but here you need to calculate the cost of that node from the start state and the heuristic value of that particular node if that n is a goal node let's take suppose if that n whatever we are getting that n is a goal node then return success and stop otherwise what you have to do expand that node so if it is not a goal node then expand that node by checking which is having the least heuristics not only that particular node we have to check all the remaining nodes also okay means that path expand node and generate all of its successors and put n in the closer list for each successor and dash check whether n is already in the open or a closer list suppose if not then compute evaluation for n dash and place it in open list else if node n dash is already in open and close then it should be attached to the back pointer which reflects the lowest g of n value we have to repeat these steps okay so this is an algorithm uh, step by step so don't be confused i'll just implement this algorithm on the example so that you can clearly understood what is this a star search algorithm means you need to find a particular item that is a goal node by using this a star search algorithm so before going to that let's see what are the advantages and disadvantages of using this a star a star it is the best algorithm than other search algorithms it is optimal and complete it can solve very complex problems also by uh, by seeing this example it will be clear it is best than the best for search because it is uh, optimal and it is completing the problem also its a completeness is there and it can also solve very complex problems then what are the disadvantages of using this it does not always produce shortest path it is not practical for various large scale problems suppose if here is a large scale problems are there to calculate the multiples and backtrack back pointer by using that it is more complex okay it's becomes uh, it's not practical for various large scale problems so in the next video i'll explain with an example thank you